Good day, and welcome back to our Alphatron DSP training series. This is part six, and today we will be taking a look at the acoustic echo cancellation module. Now, if this is your first time joining us, or if you had not had the opportunity to review parts one through five of our series, please remember to do so, and a link will be provided in the description on this video. Now, in part five, which was our last episode, we took a look at the auto mixer, and we will kick off with uh, with just a, a small review in a moment of the auto mixer and the routing, uh, as it talks directly to how the echo cancellation is set up as well. But before we get into that, for those who may not be familiar with acoustic echo cancellation, that is a function, or at least it's a, it's an algorithm, it's a software algorithm that allows us to, let's say, provide a clean audio to somebody on the far side of a video or audio conference call. So echo cancellation or AEC is used primarily in uh, conferencing functions. So soft codec VCs, uh, hard codec VCs, the old, old type systems where you had a, a physical encoder or decoder um, that was facilitating your conference call either video or audio or in today's uh, soft codec VC environments where you're basically using a laptop or a computer to, to do the, the actual video call or even just an audio call, even if it is a, a video platform. Now, the echo cancellation, you, if you activate echo cancellation in, in your room that you are in, that you are hosting your meeting from, you will not actually see the benefit of that echo cancellation. Echo cancellation really works to the benefit of the person in the far side of the call. So that said, that means that both sides of a, a video or an audio call would have to have echo cancellation or acoustic echo cancellation activated in order for both sides of uh, the call to be able to have what we refer to as a full duplex conference. In other words, where there's no disruption of that person in the room hearing themselves back through their own audio system, which is essentially your audio traveling to the person on the, on the opposite side of the call. The speakers in that room, the, the audio system in that room playing it back, your voice then being picked up by the microphones in the opposite uh, side of the, the call and then sent back to you on your speakers. So you're in effect hearing an echo of your own conversation. And similarly, somebody in the far side would benefit. And that's why we say it's, it's really to the benefit of the person on the other side of the call. So somebody on the far side speaking on their microphones through the system, your audio system, your speakers in your, in your room, playing out that audio, being picked up by your microphones and then sent back to that person. So that echo cancellation algorithm or that echo cancellation function is there to prevent that echo from taking place. Now, in order to do that, you would always have to provide a reference for that software algorithm or even that hardware device, if it was a hardware-based system, to reference towards what signals or what audio needs to be removed from the microphone in terms of what the microphone picks up. So the microphone in my room would be picking up my voice as well as the voice of the person speaking on the other side coming through the loudspeakers. But the reference, if I were to use the USB um, audio channels on the DSP, for instance, to facilitate that to a computer, I would make my USB audio my reference point. And we'll, we'll look at that in practice in just a moment. Now that USB reference point then means that the person's voice on the far side of the call gets, um, we can say, minus. It gets taken out of the local microphone signal in my room. So then only my voice gets transmitted back to that person uh, on the far side of the call. So that's just a, a, a short uh, summary of what echo cancellation does and uh, why it is needed. So like I mentioned, it is, it is predominantly used for video and audio conferencing. As I mentioned, we are kicking off where we left off last time, where we looked at our auto mixer routing. So my auto mixer is still set up uh, as we did uh, in the last episode. And if I head over to my matrix, I'm still sending my auto mixer as my USB output. So I'm using the DSP and my USB output to, to actually record the audio here in this in this case. Wouldn't be any different if we were doing this in a, 
soft codec VC core. The same would apply, I would be routing my, my audio to the USB. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, when we spoke about the, the different routing options in uh, part four as well, talking about just how the matrix routes, when we start using these three individual modules, the auto mixer, the echo cancellation, and the ambient noise suppression, they basically route one into another in order to facilitate cleaning up, as I mentioned, your audio and managing your audio better for your video conference calls. When we then speak about uh, routing now going into the echo cancellation channel, again, like the, the auto mix or the matrix, there's multiple ways of doing that. You could, for instance, route your microphones. And in this case, I, you'll see I have two microphones uh, running. I can route microphone one and two directly into my auto mixer, bring my USB as my reference point, as I mentioned, because in this case, we are, we are using the USB for our, our VC, uh, set, you know, set in inverted commas. So if I were doing that, then I activate uh, my echo cancellation module and I can select my, my non-linear processing mode, NLP, which is basically just the delay time in the course. In other words, the latency of my audio traveling towards the far side and coming back, or at least the far side's audio coming to me and back to the far side. That's what we re refer to as a round trip audio. Um, now conservative is the sort of lower setting with, with the least amount of latency applied. Moderate will have a little bit more latency and aggressive will have the longest latency or what we refer to as a tail length of the, the audio. So in other words, how long the acoustic echo cancellation algorithm is active at any given point. So every, every millisecond of audio that it receives, it just delays that and keeps that within the echo cancellation, cancelling that specific audio out. Um, so NLP sets the state of how long it keeps that echo cancellation cancelling, uh, in inverted commas again, uh, going. So if you find that you are still getting echoes on the, the other side of the, the call, if the, if the person there is stating that, you know, I can still hear myself, then you change it from conservative to moderate or even from moderate to aggressive. Uh, and, and really it will depend on system to system how you would set that up. Now, as I mentioned, we can route our microphones directly there, which means in my matrix mixer, I would unroute my auto mixer uh, cross point and route it from my echo cancellation cross point. But that would bypass my auto mixer and I would then only use my echo cancellation uh, directly, which is fine if you are not using the auto mixer. But for our purposes and demonstration, we'll, we'll keep the auto mixer in place. So we will be routing from the auto mixer directly into the echo cancellation module. And from the echo cancellation module, again, I use BSR reference. We come over to the matrix. And then in this case, I would be routing my echo cancellation here instead of my auto mixer. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and route it. You will obviously lose my audio for a moment as I'm doing the rerouting. And there we are. So now you are receiving my audio or I'm recording my audio in this case, based on the settings for both the auto mixer, passing through the echo cancellation and then into the matrix. Now, as I mentioned, you wouldn't hear a difference really on your side because we're not really in a, in a live call environment in that sense. And, um, but that is in a nutshell, uh, how the echo cancellation is set up and how it is used and some of the settings uh, that's available on it and just a brief explanation of actually what the echo cancellation does and why it is uh, important to use and uh, be aware of uh, when you are doing conferencing. Well, thank you for joining us. And uh, if you have not done so already, please remember to subscribe to our channel and like our video and press that notification bell so you can get notified of any future videos and updates we post. We look forward to seeing you on the next part. Cheers.